Hello, and welcome back to Code in 5 Minutes with Zoom. I am Dr. Abstract. And in this Code in 5 Minutes, we're going to take a look at how to make an Angry Birds type game where you pull back on a ball, it would be a bird or whatever, and fling it into some stuff, <laughs> into a tower. All right, so let's have a, a look at Zim, and we'll go to the code section here. We'll hit copy. That copies the template. We're also going to bring in a physics library, so if you scroll way down here, there's our extra libraries. So we'll be bringing in the Zim 10 physics, which does stuff like this. So you can take a look at the code in there to find out how to bring in our physics. Another place that you can find that is in the docs here. There's physics, that's our Zim helper physics module, but we also work with Box2D. So the physics engine we'll be using is Box2D, and the Zim physics module helps uh, working with Box2D be a lot easier. All right, so we'll clo close this down. So here we are, this is that template then. We're bringing in CreateJS and Zim. And then we're bringing in Box2D and our physics helper library, like so. This is the template, and then we're going to be coding down in here. We've removed this ball that you can drag around, and we're going to make our own ball. And we're going to try and do this in five minutes. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I would rather six or seven minutes, <laughs> to tell you the truth. But uh, let's give it a go, shall we? So we'll start the timer. Starting the timer. Is that going? Yeah, there she be. So uh, const circle is equal to a new circle. And we'll make that 50 in red or something like that. We'll um, dot pose that on the stage at, say, 300 over from the left and maybe 100 down. So from the left and from the center. So down from the center. Um, and we will dot, uh, dot add physics, like so. I can spell it, I can do it. And, uh, oh, we should, uh, that, that will do it, actually. That, if we open in Browser Plus, I guess, I'll open on the side, that indeed makes a ball fall down. But if we want access to the physics, we could then ask for the circle's physics property to get access to physics, but we usually make one here. So, uh, const physics is equal to a new physics, like so. And that gives us gravity that we can adjust in boundaries or borders if we want and stuff like that. And so great, uh, the same, same thing will happen here. I can save it, the same thing will happen, the ball falls down. We can make the ball a little bit bouncier. So that is bounciness or restitution. You can use either, but bounciness kind of makes more sense for the people. <laughs> so there it is, a bit more bouncy. And if we want this to just stay right up there until we drag it, that's the, that's the thing. We can actually drag this thing around, and that's pretty easy. That looks like physics dot drag. And that would just drag everything in the physics world. But uh, So now we can drag this and throw it around. But uh, we don't want to necessarily drag everything, so we can say just drag the circle or an array of objects that we want to drag. And great, now we can drag the circle. Let's make our tower. So that would look like a new tile. We'll tile a bunch of things. <laughs> Take. And we'll tile a new rectangle. Rectangle. And uh, let's see, how, sh how big shall we make this rectangle? How about um, about 100 maybe? 100 by 300 high? I, I don't know. We want to make it a little bit higher than it is. Uh, well, we'll go like 50 by 100, say. So 50 by 100. Right now that will be black, but we can make it dark with a blue border if we wanted, or a blur border. So we're tiling that rectangle. We'll dot center reg it as well. Dot center regging will put it in, in the center, and that's needed for the physics world. It needs its registration point in the center to work properly. We'll make two uh, columns of this, and how about five rows like that? And we will position this on the stage. Dot pose it at, mm, I don't know, about 100 from the left and zero from the bottom. So this is from the left and the bottom, like so. And that gives us our tiles. 
<laughs> from the right, I should say. <laughs> there we go. That gives us our tiles on the right hand side. We're going to try and knock those over. Right now they're not connected to physics. So to connect them to physics, uh, const tile is equal to, we can say tile.loop. This will loop through each of those and then we get a tile each time. Call that arrow function, pass, passing it into the arrow function. And now here we're going to set our physics on those tiles. Tile.add physics, uh, like so. Um, one thing maybe is that the top ones are going to get their physics first, which means the bottom ones won't get physics. So we probably want to loop backwards. Uh, loop um, true uh, there means loop backwards. And that will add the physics. We also, uh, I guess that probably is good. Oh, they went to the wrong place. Ah, yes, they went to the wrong place because they're currently in a tile. So what we need to do is if we want physics to work properly, it's all on the stage or in a container that is um, left aligned on the stage. So we want to just say tile.add to the stage. And that will take it from the container of the tiles, which is over on the right, and add it directly to the stage so that we can then add physics to it. As a matter of fact, we can just chain that on like so. And we get uh, get so, like so. And now we throw that and it knocks down. <laughs> so uh, we can throw that and it knocks down. Great. But we were wanting to make a slingshot. So uh, stay tuned then to the next Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I am Dr. Abstract and we will get you, we will get you coding that next one in 5 Minutes. Woohoo! I am Dr. Abstract for Code in 5 Minutes and we'll get that uh, slingshot in there. Ciao!